Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Sam, and we are Travel with the One You Love. I grew up in Boy Scouting and reached the rank of Eagle Scout and have spent well over 365 days of my life camping outdoors. And I'm a professional photographer who loves to capture beautiful landscapes. Together, we hope to inspire others to get outside and explore. While also sharing camping, photography, and hiking tips along the way. Make sure and subscribe to join our adventure community. So on the way out to Whitaker Point, at the recommendation of our hotel, we stopped at another waterfall called Kings River Falls. It's about two miles uh, in and out. Uh, there's a really cool waterfall at the end and a swimming hole that's really cool to see. On some of the signs around here, you'll see there's a picture of a little beagle dog that's hung and it says, uh, please do not uh, worry about me, please leave me where I am, please do not return to me my owner. The dog actually lives close by and it takes people through the trail back and forth and likes to swim at the end too. So make sure and watch out for the little beagle. Currently at the Lost Valley Trail here at the Ozark National Forest. We decided to do this trail in addition to Whitaker Point, which we'll be doing just at sunset. We just arrived at Eden Falls, and it's a short one mile in, one mile out.
So we've reached R Whitaker Point. As you can see, it is an absolutely stunning view behind me. I know that a few different maps say that it's only about 1.5 miles in and 1.5 miles out for three total. However, we would say it's probably about two miles in, two miles out. Um, overall, stunning view, and we're here just right around golden hour sunset time. So we spent a total of one day here at Ozark National Forest and we went on a total of four hikes and here are our thoughts. So obviously we're here at Whitaker Point, the views are absolutely stunning, the parking lot is pretty large, however it is a dirt road to get up to the hike so we highly recommend that your vehicle can actually make it up the trail. Overall I think that this is probably our favorite hike. We also went on the Glory Hole Trail which was easy for parking, paved roads, however it was a steep incline down and up. So make sure that you have good shoes and you're ready to tackle that adventure to that water hole. Make sure you're ready to hike about two miles out of the glory hole straight uphill back to your car. And make sure and bring plenty of snacks and water for that. One of the other hikes that we did is Kings River. This is another gravel road that leads to this one. But this is actually a flat trail, uh, probably just under two miles we think. Uh, it's an in and an out. Uh, you have a, a long flowing river that leads through a couple sets of different waterfalls, but one large fall that leads to a little swimming area. Uh, we recommend going to that one uh, early in the afternoon or maybe in the late morning to make sure and get there, get set up, because it we turned out to be a very popular spot with people bringing in uh, floaties, uh, pets, and uh, lots of drinks. So the other one that we did was the Lost Valley Trail which we've heard there's a cave portion of it. However, due to, I believe it's called white nose syndrome that the bats are suffering from, these caves are actually closed across the US. So we just opted to go and see Eden Falls. Um, it, the river wasn't flowing quite as much as it was um, for the swimming pool area, but we definitely recommend it if you're looking for an easy hike off the road. 